In this video, I would like to demo the new application Anti Temper Mesh PCB for Allegro and Orcard PCB Editor. Let's have a look at this feature using a simplified test case and start the application. In the first step, we use the context menu, select region, and select a shape or polygon representing the mesh boundary, for example, the design outline. Based on the parameters in the options panel, the area will be subdivided into a grid which accounts for number of signals, width, spacing, and the origin of the grid. We can change the parameters in the options panel. The grid will be recalculated immediately. By default, each grid cell is a candidate for the mesh fill algorithm. There are several commands which let you exclude areas or individual cells if necessary. Using context menu clear region overlap, we exclude all grid cells which intersect with the region boundary. These cells will be then marked as inactive using a red cross. Using context menu clear by keypad, we pick an arbitrary shape. All grid cells intersecting with the selected shape will be marked as inactive. Using context menu delete cells, we drag a window or pick individual grid cells to be excluded. In the next step, the starting edge needs to be selected where the signals start from. Using context menu select starting edge, we pick an edge from which the signals start and end. The selected edge will be marked accordingly. This edge must not be adjacent to edges from other active cells. Finally, we press the Calculate button in the Options panel. The mesh will be calculated and C-lines will be created on the edge layer as specified in the panel. Depending on the level of randomness used by the algorithm, it yields a more or less organized looking results. The default value is 100%, which means that results will never be the same. The C-line mesh will be stored in a mechanical symbol in the database before you change parameters you should delete the existing symbol using context menu delete symbol or delete all. Finally, we start routing from the starting edge and connect to the device. The net names will be immediately adopted.